Hey guys, welcome to another edition of Shade No Shade. I'm your host Bridget. Today I want to talk a little about Irv Gotti. Well, you know he's been in the news lately this week about his alleged affair with Ashanti. And today he went on the Wendy Williams show to talk about the alleged affair. You know, with Ashanti, it is a delicate situation. She is a big part of Murder Rank. The fans want that. Everybody wants that. It's weird. Just how I have my version of what has happened with me and Ashanti. She has her version. And I have my version. We were still married, but we were separated when they were dating. I was used to it from the from the beginning, like him going and traveling. I just wasn't used to the women. That was like new, like, <laughs> where did these hoes come from? You know, I you think- You wanted people to forgive listen, you I when think you do stuff? Don't talk about the cheat. I'm, I'm a good chip off the old block, aside from the infidelity. You know, in my crazy mind, I thought that was life. This is my wife, this is my family, but this bitch is here to suck my b I don't wanna hear that. Uh -huh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Wendy is now more a seasoned veteran, polished, but in her younger days when she was just on radio and coming up, Wendy was aggressive. Oh. Very aggressive. So I did the Wendy show. I never once said anything about my relationship with Ashanti. But I knew it was either you or Ja Rule. You, Somebody was doing it. Right. So, so, yep. what, so, what, so what Wendy does is totally blindsides me and says, you're sleeping with Ashanti, to which I never answered. I never said, yeah or no. I just was like in total shock. I leave the radio station and it went complete viral. Irv Gotti says he's sleeping with Ashanti, which I never did. Wendy did. So all of this. No, 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 no. All this bull crap was Wendy's doing. Now, was she, now, was she, was she right? Yes. Yes. But I didn't, I didn't say it. But I smell pheromones. Uh, when I smell a pheromone, I know what I'm smelling. First of all, I don't know what pheromone means, so. Pheromone, <laughs> that's, that's when you give off the smell of the privates. <laughs> I, I smelled a, a pheromone. Circle back to you, Wendy. Why is it, right, if, um, if a, a man and a woman who's married and they get separated and, and they're totally separated, like it, it isn't like I'm going back to Deb and then doing what I'm doing. When me and Deb separated, she caught me cheating. Shanti, Shanti. Had, no. Okay, no. somebody else. This is why I'm here. Okay. Shanti is not a homewrecker, guys. Shanti had nothing to do with me and Deb. Deb we didn't say me. she did. Listen, and I'm gonna explain. And I'm a truthful guy. Deb caught me on when I was directing I Cry in Baltimore. Deb being the vicious person she is, she came down unannounced. And she was like, I'm Mrs. Lorenzo, give me the room key. Okay, now. The door okay. was latched, but she knows I'm in there. Okay. That's what broke me and Deb up. And who were you in there with? I'm not saying the name. Oh, Brandon. <laughs> but, but hey, just so you know the timeline, I cry music video. Ashanti's not even in the okay, picture. Okay, let's, let's, let's scoot away from Ashanti for a moment. I just want to close. No, I want to say this too. Question. Um, why is it, why is it that if a man gets married, a man and woman get married, if they're separated, they're not going to be together. They're not staying together. I can't go mess with other girls until I sign a divorce paper? Why? Why? No, yes, you can. Okay, then, then what's I, the problem? I'm then? going through a divorce right now. Yeah, and that's I, when and I was going to swing it back to Wendy, because I said, yo, you ain't getting a divorce yet, and I seen you swerving. I seen you swerving. Get on, Wendy. I seen Wendy swerving. I'm like, wait a minute. Is those divorce papers signed yet? Which, which, hold it, which I say good for, I, when I see him, I'm like, good for Wendy, do you? Well, he claims that Ashanti was not the reason why his marriage had ended, and I kind of agree with him. 
But first off, let me say this. I like celebrities when they are transparent, when they speak, because I feel like they're telling the truth. When you have a divorce, normally it's not a single thing that causes the breakup. So to say that Ashanti was the sole reason that his marriage ended, you know, that seemed to be a scratch. However, Ashanti may not have been the sole reason, but she could have been a piece of the puzzle that ended the marriage. Us as women, we have a hard time getting over when our significant other cheats. I cannot imagine my dude cheating with a public figure to where every time I turn on my TV, I see her video, or if I turn on the radio, I hear her song. Can you imagine that? I think Irv was probably a serial cheater throughout his marriage, and it wasn't just the Ashanti situation. I read Corinne Stephan's Superhead video vixen book, and she goes in great detail about sleeping with Irv Gotti and Ja Rule, and she, how she was on the set of their videos and how she did whatever that was needed for her to become the head girl. She claimed there was a lot of partying, drugs, sets in hotel rooms, sets in limos. I honestly think her book had a lot of truth in it. And when you're rich, young, doing drugs, spending a lot of time with models, like anything can pop off. And I think his wife saw a lot of that and that probably ultimately what ended the marriage. Ashanti is just a famous name that was attached to his infidelity. Was it the end all be all? Eh, probably not. More likely a com combination of things that ended the marriage. Now I really respect that Irv was willing to go on the Wendy Williams show because most people duck her show because she is way too messy. Ashanti has been pretty quiet about this matter, but I'm sure she'll be asked about it in the interview pretty soon. But hey, that's, those are just my thoughts. What I know, I'm just a girl from the South with an opinion. Let me know what you think. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye!